it's Shelby here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, glad you all are with me. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about my, um, basically like my yearly TBR. This is going to be my TBR for the, for 2022. And also kind of talking about some of my goals for the year. So yes, yeah, so we're going to be talking about, I can't believe it's already like the end of the year. And we're going to be talking about 2022. It's like here. Um, so I'm going to kind of start out with my reading goals for the new year. Um, I'm not going to be as specific as I was with some of my goals that I had for last year. Last year I had some very specific goals that I had to read like certain types of books every month and that got scrapped like I didn't do that within like the first couple months of the year. So my goals for this year, the biggest one overall is just again to enjoy what I'm reading. If I'm not feeling something, I'm not going to stress out about it to try to finish it. I will just DNF those books that I'm not feeling and it's okay. Um, and that's a big thing too. I just don't want to stress myself out about anything. Um, if I decide to do any like readathons, I'm not going to try to push myself that I finish everything in time. I really just want to enjoy myself and enjoy what I'm reading. So that being said, I would also really like to read some books that I've been putting off. So another one of my goals is to finish series, finish off like book series that I have started and I have not yet finished for whatever reason. So that is one of my goals. Um, I also would like to try to read some of my, some books by like my favorite authors that I've just been putting off reading. Um, certain authors, I tend to have a habit, like if they put out a new book, like I'm so excited for their new releases, yet then I don't ever read them. And it's just because I don't know, for whatever reason in my mind, I'm just like, oh, well, if I read all their books, or if I read their newest book, then I'm going to want to read all the rest of their books. And then I'm not going to have any more books by my favorite author that I can read, which is really silly. And I need to stop doing that. So I would like to read the books that I've been putting off. And I'd also like to just in general, um, I most, I like, I just want to read like all the books. So I want to read more books by my favorite authors or some authors that I've like kind of started to like dive into and I've enjoyed reading this year. I want to explore more of their works and read more. And then I'd also like to read more books by authors that I haven't read. I want to discover new authors. I want new authors to become favorites of mine. Um, and then I've also started reading more historical romance this past year. So that's another one of my goals is to try to continue reading more historical romance in this next coming year. So if I can, we'll see how it goes. I'd like to try to read, you know, at least one or two historical romances every month just to kind of keep on that trend of reading more historical romances. So I have a, now to, on sort of to my TBR, um, I have a big pile of like physical books. Most of my physical books that I want to read are books, they're more like fantasy books that I'm very interested in reading, but I'm the kind of person, if I'm reading a fantasy, I really need to read like a physical copy. It's harder for me to like grasp like different storylines and what all is going on in a book in a fantasy kind of world um, by audio. And it's hard for me even on like ebook form. I can do it a little bit better, but I still really like to have like a physical copy of like fantasy books and read physically. Um, 
they just it goes a lot better for my brain that way so being that I have a one-year-old and I'm now a single parent and I have if you didn't know I have another baby on the way um reading physically like physical copies like a hard cover paperback hardback book is very difficult for me I don't read too many because it's just harder for me to read them whereas like audiobooks I can listen to audiobooks pretty much wherever um I can read ebooks on my phone pretty easily here and there but like if I'm doing stuff with my daughter and she's just kind of playing it I can't really read a physical copy book it's just it's very difficult so I would like to try to get some of these books read and this also kind of helps with me with some of my goals too so one of the books that I want to read for the year is A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Maas which is the fourth book of the um Court of Thorns and Roses series. So this works for one of my goals to finish series that I have started and not yet finished. Um, so I need to read this, but I've been putting it off because again, it's a physical book and it's a big book. And I feel like it's going to take me a while to read. And then also I'm just like not as interested in the characters, but I love Sarah J Mass's writing. So, and I'm really excited to have her make me love these characters it just might take a little bit so i want to read this i also have muse of nightmares by laney taylor so this is a ya fantasy and i read the first book of this series um strange the dreamer at like the beginning of last year and i absolutely loved it and i have no idea why i didn't go ahead and read the second one so I want to do this so I can finish this series. And then I also have the next two books in the Nevernight series. So I have God's Grave and then Dark Dawn, which is the last. This completes the uh, trilogy, I guess, of Nevernight. Um, again, I read Nevernight. I don't even think I read it last year. I think I read it the year before, maybe. And my plan was to continue and read this. But uh, it just never happens. So this is my goal because I'm trying to complete series that I have started. So I want to read these this year. I also want to finish this series. So Sierra Simone is one of those authors that I put off reading her books because I love all of her books. And I have no idea why I don't. I don't know why I am the way that I am, but yes. So I read this book in this series. Um, this is the Thorn Chapel series. And I have all the books in this series. And I just have not finished it. And I need to. So that was one of my goals is to finish this series. And then along with pretty much all the rest of Sierra Simone's books. So knocking off other goals I've read Priest but she has other books in her Priest series this last year she had the newest book come out which is Saint yes yes Saint just came out this past year so I would like to finish that series and then in general I would just like to continue reading and read some more of Sierra Simone's like backlist that I haven't gotten to which if I do that I think there's only maybe like a couple more books on her backlist that I haven't read if I finish these so I'm kind of scared because then it'll be to a point where I don't have any new Sierra Simone books to read but but that's okay because then I'm just like I need to stop being this way where I put stuff off because even if I read all of her books, it's not like I can't reread them. I'm definitely the kind of person that if I love a book, I will reread it. It's just hard for me because I feel like there's so many other books to read too that I want to get to. But if I'm like really craving, like if I've read all of Sierra Simone's books and I'm just really craving a Sierra Simone book, like it's not like I can't like reread something, so... 
don't know why I'm putting it off. Um, another series that I remember reading and I never finished it and I need to is going to be the uh, Hades Hangman series by Tilly Cole. I read the first like three books of the series right around when my daughter was born. So she's over a year. She's going to be turning two this year. And like I literally like right when she was born I was reading those books. So it's been a while and I need to finish those because I really enjoyed that series. So I would like to continue that one. And I'm sure there's a lot of other series that I can't think of that I've started and not finished but want to. And they'll those will just come up as they come up but I can't really remember those right now um then I also have been wanting to read Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo since this book came out and I don't even remember how long this ago this book came out but I really been wanting to read this especially since I think she has another book in this series coming out maybe this year so I really need to get to this and then I also have been wanting to read From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. And this is my like exclusive. I think I got this from Bookish Box, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, I still have not started the series or read the series. And I hear so many good things about it. So I really, really, I've been eyeing this for a while. And I just, I don't know. I just haven't gotten to it for whatever reason so this year gonna make it happen let's see and then along with I'm also going to be making a 2022 anticipated releases video and I'm not 100% sure if this video is going to go up or that one is going to go up but like which one's going to go up first but you can just be sure that all of the books on that a uh, video of my anticipated releases for the year are also going to be on this TBR. So one of the books that I'm, I'm automatically thinking of is um, the next book in the Crescent City series by Sarah J. Mass, which I think comes out in like February. And I'm like super excited for that one. So that's another book that's definitely on this TBR. And like I said, all the books from that um, anticipated releases video are going to be part of my yearly like TBR. Um, some of the historicals that I'd like to get to and these I just kind of grabbed off of my shelf. These aren't like the specific books that I want to get to but these are more just authors that I haven't delved into that I would like to. So one of them being Elizabeth Hoyt. I've heard so many good things about Elizabeth Hoyt. Um, I don't know if it's this. There's another series that she has that I know everybody like raves about so I just I very curious I've never read an Elizabeth Hoyt book and I really like to so she is on my TBR or at least her in general like I'd like to get to her books um same for Joanna Shoup I've also heard really good things about her um she had a short story in the Duke I'd like to F um anthology and then the um, Rake I'd Like to F anthology and I really enjoy her writing. I just her stories were so good so I need to read like a full fledged novel from her so I'd like to get to her. Then I have Joanna Lindsay who is like a classic historical romance author but I have not read any of her Joanna Lindsay stories. So this year I need to pick up at least one Joanna Lindsay book. And El Eloisa James, another one who is like a like standout like classic historical romance author and I have yet to read a single one of her books. So some point this coming year I'm reading at least one book by her. It's gonna happen. And then the rest of this video is just authors that I'd like to pick up some, a book of theirs at some point. So authors that I have read at least one of their books, I would like to read more of. 
I want to read Mariana Zapata. I'd like to read more from her. Sarah Kate. Sophie Lark. Nikki Sloan. I've read a bunch of Nikki Sloan books this year and I love them and I need to read like her entire backlist. Um, Ruby Dixon. Ruby Dixon has so many books and she puts out books like so quickly. I think she puts out like at least like three books a year maybe. So I know she's gonna be putting out new books this year and she's another author that I pretty much just want to read like all of her backlist. Um, Jade West, Lisa Claypes. I read her three like biggest series this past year and I didn't like them as much as I thought I was going to like them. So I kind of want to delve more into some of her like standalone stories and see if I like those a little bit better. Um, Pam Godwin. I freaking love Pam Godwin and she's another one that I pretty much just want to read like her whole backlist. Lauren Rowe, Fiona Cole, Julia Cross, I read her um, Stay a Cell, like the first book in that series this past year. And I would like to continue that series and more of Juliet Cross's books because her writing was really good. Um, Carrie Lake, Saffron A. Kent, Alexis Daria. I've only read like two things from her. I read a book and then I read a novella from Alexis Daria. And I absolutely loved both of those. So I need to read like anything from her that I can get my hands on. And then Megan Quinn, I'd also like to read more of. And then authors that I still have not yet read. And I keep meaning to, because I keep hearing things about them. And I just want to explore their stuff. But I just, for whatever reason, I don't know. I just have it. It's going to be M. Robinson. Um, Candy Steiner. I hear stuff about her, like, all the time. Uh, Katrina Jackson. Nayla Simone. Amelia Wild, actually Amelia Wild, I attempted to read one book from her and I don't remember what it was called, but I just couldn't get into it. I ended up DNFing the book, but all of her books sound so good. So I want to give her, she's more of like an author that I just want to give like a second chance to. Like even though I read, I because it was only one book that I ended up end up not liking and couldn't get into and maybe it was just like the mood I was in or I don't I don't know so I like to try and actually read like a full like a full book from her um Willow Winters I don't think I read uh Kennedy Ryan believe it or not I have still not read a Kennedy Ryan book and she's one that I haven't read because I've been putting it off because I know her books are very emotional so I need her be like in a right, right, like headspace for it. Cause I know it's going to be an emotional roller coaster, but I've heard her books are like absolutely amazing. So I need to read her. And then Amo Jones, cause her books just look very, very interesting. And I just, I need to pick one up. So that's all the books that I can think of at the moment. I'm sure this TBR is going to expand and I may not get to all of these books, but I'm going to try my best. But these are the books that I would like to get to in the year of 2022. So I have a whole year. So that's good. Got a lot of time to get these books read. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed to me, make sure you do that. Hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos from me. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye, guys.